All right, guys, trying something a little bit new on this channel. So uh, we're about to look at a really interesting uh, article by our friend Matthew S. Smith over at Digital Trends. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so this is a, uh, how do I say, uh, interesting article, to say the least. So here we go. 343 Rider says Halo Infinite won't have Battle Royale, and that's dumb. So uh, let's take a look. What's he got to say, Matthew Smith here? Okay. 343 Industries writer Jeff Easterling, speaking on a live stream, had strong words to say about the inclusion of Battle Royale in Halo Infinite. I'll tell you right now, he declared, the only BR we're interested in is Battle Rifle, the original BR, so calm yourself. So what... What this is talking about is uh, this uh, developer over, uh, the, the writer at uh, 343, uh, he was on a live stream and people were asking him about Battle Royale and Halo and he's basically saying, you know, chill out, um, we're not interested, which is good news, good news, good Matthew Smith, not bad, not dumb, but let's read on. It's hard to tell if Easterling was serious, the tone of the comment and the informality of the stream makes his makes his statement a step short of an announcement. It's possible he was speaking for himself, or that he doesn't have full knowledge of the studio's plans. If his attitude does represent the studio overall though, I have an opinion to offer. That's dumb on multiple levels. Alright, so uh we can already tell which side of the uh which side of this debate this guy's on. Battle Royale is the hottest thing going right now, for good reason. Its unique take on competitive multiplayer is the opposite of everything prior games were built on. See, this is kind of the point of why people don't want it in Halo. Uh, it's literally the opposite of what people like about Halo. <laughs> so, okay, let's let's before I get into that, let's read on. Before it, almost all competitive multiplayer games were founded on assumptions that, in retrospect, seem stale. Fights must be fair. <laughs> Levels must be tight and designed with obsessive detail. Competition can only happen between two players or two teams. Now, you see, not only, not only happen between two players and two teams, there's also free-for-all. Um, but besides that, um, yeah, we're talking about a completely separate thing, so... You can have your um, Battle Royale games, and that's fine. It's totally fine. You just We don't want you shoving it down our throats uh, mercilessly uh, without letting us come up for air. So let's keep going. Then came Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, Fortnite. Why do they have this hyperlink? What, what does that go to? Oh, he, probably he wrote the review, I guess. Let's see if he wrote it. No, somebody else wrote it. That's so fucking weird. This guy has got the same name as my brother, and then this guy has my name. Fucking crazy. All right. Um, so, yeah, I was at Fortnite. Okay. And a long list of successful, though often still... A long list of less successful, though often still popular, imitators. See, that's the thing. Less successful... <laughs> he's like really downplaying the fact that there's a lot of really shitty uh, Battle Royale clones out there that are just not doing well um, just take a look at the Culling 2 for example or basically any other fucking Battle Royale game that isn't PUBG or Fortnite or um, what's that really goofy looking one totally accurate Battleground whatever like if it's not super unique it's getting absolutely drowned uh, by P PUBG and Fortnite, so um, think of any other game that's been announced to have a Battle Royale mode. Call of Duty, people are fucking hating on it. Um, Battlefield 5, no one wants it. Uh, you could hear people like s booing <laughs> at the announcement, basically. Like, nobody wants it. And uh, 343, they, they see the reaction coming from fans of other games that are just shoehorning it in there and just shoving it right up our fucking asses and they're seeing that the fans don't want it and they're like well you know what our fans definitely don't want it and 343 is on really thin ice as it is because they've been chasing trends since hey i would argue halo reach but a lot of people say halo 4 is when they really 
jump the shark with the chasing of trends and changing up their core mechanics. So they're they're on thin ice with their fans. So they're not gonna fucking go for this. Anyways, fights can be unfair. Levels can be sprawling. Competition can take place between up to a hundred people at once, with only one winner in the end. See, that's not Halo though, and th it's okay for not every game you know, for every game to not have battle royale, because it doesn't fit everywhere. And if battle royale was in Halo, it would just take away uh, resources from development. They'd have to waste time um, spent that they could be spending on campaign or on. Um, making the multiplayer in Halo competitive and uh, trying to fix all the problems they've had in the past few games that their fans actually want. Um, making sure every map is designed properly to where there's no imbalances. See, people playing Halo, they want balance. They want small maps. Small arena sized maps. Uh, they want two teams fighting each other. This is what Halo players want. They don't want sprawling, unfair fights with a hundred people at once, with only one winner at the end. Um, so, I mean, there there are already games for that. They exist. <laughs> it's called Fortnite and PUBG. Anyways, as a matter of business, then shunning battle royale isn't smart. Okay, so fuck you, for right there. As a matter of business, that's that's arguable. Like, there's. There's an argument to be made that as a matter of business, sh shoving a battle royale in there is just going to drive their already diminishing core fan base away. And think about it this way. Anybody who doesn't already play Halo, they're not going to come to Halo for a battle royale mode. Not going to fucking happen. People who play battle royale, they either already have their game of choice or they're just going to play Fortnite because it's free and everybody on the planet is fucking playing it. So they're not going to be like, oh, well... Let's shove a battle royale in there. I mean, I know it's gonna kill off the rest of our core fan base, but um, maybe if we're fucking super lucky, then all these Fortnite players will just stop playing that game and buy our game because it's not free, and then they're gonna play our game for the rest of their lives. Not gonna fucking happen. It's a massively popular game mode that shreds the rule book. Shreds the rule book, bro. <laughs> it encourages innovation. Uh, that's, that's an interesting way to phrase that. Players want not just the battle royale they know, but the battle royale they don't know. Okay, uh, whatever you say. There's a literal wealth of opportunity for developers with new ideas. Oh God, the pretension coming off this guy is—it's—it's it's palpable. It's absurd that 343 Industries wouldn't want to take part in that. But that's not the only reason I chafe at <laughs> Eastern Link's remark. My big beef is that he only works on Halo. A game that could make for an amazing battle royale. No, it could not. It doesn't fit. It just see. This is clearly somebody who doesn't play Halo. They're just trying to uh, get clicks on their fucking shitty website. Uh, well, you know what? That's unfair. I don't know that this website shitty. I haven't checked out the rest of their stuff. They probably have a lot of great writers. Um, just this one article that I found, I think, is really obnoxious and absolutely incorrect in every way. So I don't want to shit on the entire website, but let's uh, let's not go there. Think about it. What does Halo do well? Big epic battles. Okay, kind of. Not exactly. There hasn't really been a game mode with a huge epic battle, but you know I'll come back to that. It's a fundamentally solid shooter, to be sure. Got that right. But it is scope, not gunplay. That defines the franchise. No, that's incorrect. When you're talking about the multiplayer of Halo, this is absolutely incorrect. This this whole thing right here. What defines the franchise is the hardcore, uh, small map, small teams, a uh, team of four, controlling a map, map control, trying to get power weapons, controlling spawns, uh, all the... Um, small team game modes king of the hill capture the flag all that stuff the stuff that made halo big is not scope it is the gunplay that's one of the big things and uh the smaller uh, arena style multiplayer is what made halo big that's what halo fans like so this whole thing right here incorrect sir 
uh, the original Halo spawned new interest in first-person shooters on console, but aside from the Battlefield franchise, none have nailed or even tried to nail the massive battles that define Halo. See, I don't... What are you talking about? How massive do you think the battles... Because <laughs> Big Team Battle in Halo is 8 versus 8. That's as big as they've gotten. Um, Warzone gets a little bit bigger, but not that much bigger. That's 12 versus 12. So these you're, you're playing it off like it's 50 on 50 massive battles, like covering an entire continent on a planet or something. And it's not even anywhere close to the truth. From the first Warthog ride in the original game to the awesome The Ark mission in Halo 3, is a good mission, great mission, the game shines when it goes big and brings a few tanks too. That's, okay, you're speaking on single player or campaign missions. It could be co-op as well. He's trying to... Sh oh, God, I'm going to lose it. He's uh, he's conflating the two. So, uh, yeah, people do like big, open, sprawling campaign missions because it makes the campaign replayable. You can go about each mission a different way. That's absolutely different from their multiplayer, which is uh, people like that to be small, tight, compact, fast-paced, uh, strategic. Strategic is a huge thing that uh, that would describe previous Halo games, uh, at least what people liked about previous Halo games. The amount of strategy and teamwork it takes, um, working with your, your few teammates that you have to go up against another team that is trying to work together and control the map and outplay, outsmart your team. Um, it's just, you can't have that kind of strategy and team play with a one versus 99 other people battle, battle royale. It's just, it doesn't work. I mean, yeah, I guess you could have a squad of four in battle royale against like 50 other fucking teams. It just, it's not the same thing. It just doesn't work. Battle royale is exactly that. It's big. It's epic. Can you imagine dropping as a barely kitted Spartan? Searching for armor add-ons? Finding a warthog? Fighting over an M808 dropped from the sky mid-match? My heart's beating faster already. Oh, calm down, Matthew Smith. 343 Industries already understands this. Halo 5 introduced Warzone, a mode that placed two teams of 12 players, exactly 12. <laughs> 12 fucking players on a large map. That's debatable. It's, uh... Not that large. That also contained enemy AI. The goal was to earn victory points by eliminating the other team, killing AI baddies, and controlling bases. It was a fun, hectic, and epic experience. Yeah, and even then, there were moments where people were really figuring out how to exploit Warzone. I'm not going to get into that, but people who play Halo 5 know what I'm talking about. Um, triple capping and just steamrolling over teams. Uh, matchmaking is very important. Uh, Skill-based matchmaking, something that um, Halo people, Halo people, <laughs> Halo players want, and adding all these fucking people into one match is just impossible to deal with. It felt more compact than it should have, though, and was undermined by an annoying microtransaction scheme. That's actually the first true thing you've actually said in this entire article. It was undermined by an annoying microtransaction scheme. You got that right. So, uh, you know, he, he's, he's got one thing. You, everybody gets one. Still, Warzone showed the idea for large, unorthodox game modes that can work in Halo. Uh, I wouldn't say it's unorthodox. I mean, it, it did seem to fit fairly well. I wouldn't call it unorthodox, but whatever. And I doubt there's any technical reason the game couldn't support it. Yeah, the game can support it, but the reason people don't want it is because it's going to take away resources from all the other game modes and especially the story. People want 343 to nail the story because the campaigns have been lacking since Halo 3 in Reach, of course. Reach was pretty good. Um, but they want the other, they want all the other modes that people know and love back in Halo. See, people don't want 343 to keep chasing trends adding stuff that people don't want um like what call of duty is doing right now it just it it's gone from you know starting its own um style to just 
copying everybody else. People want Halo to have its own style. Halo is unique in that way, uh, in what it does, it, and it does it very well. When it's, I mean, well, most of the time it does it well. It's, again, 343 is on thin ice on this one. Uh, so we want them to focus on that, making the game great like it used to be, instead of adding Battle Royale. The inclusion of a Battle Royale mode, or something similar, could be the make or break on my Halo Infinite per Okay, fuck you. Fuck your Halo Infinite purchase. What about the millions of other fans who have actually played a Halo game in the past? What about their purchases? I think that's what 343 is looking at. Their actual fans. I want something new. I want you to fuck right off. How about that? That's what I want. I don't want a stale sequel to the Halo 5's dull campaign. Okay, yeah. So, it's funny how you're bringing up... Why are you bringing up that you don't want the stale sequel to the Halo 5's dull campaign? Aren't you talking about a battle royale? How is that at all related to the campaign? If anything, it takes resources away from the campaign. Fucking cock. <laughs> and except for Warzone, Me Too multiplayer modes. Shove it up your fucking ass, dude. If a Halo name is to mean something to players a decade from now, 343 Industries needs to chase trends and copy everybody else, I guess. Needs to carry the game spirit forward while changing the game to fit what players want. Exactly. Fit what players want, which is not, not this at all. Fuck off with that. A battle royale is a perfect opportunity to do that. Okay, whatever you fucking say, dude. So let's let's check out some of these comments. All right. Okay. Okay, so uh, this guy's talking about Call of Duty, blah, 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 free for all. Battle Royale will die out, though. So this is another thing. You need to realize that it's Battle Royale is popular now, but we don't even know when Halo Infinite's coming out. It could be two years from now, for, or three. It could be 2020 or 2021. So, I mean, fuck. They're, that's, a, that's a gamble. <laughs> They're really taking a gamble going completely against everything that all the hardcore halo fans want the millions and millions of fans they're gonna say fuck you to those guys and try to just take a gamble on battle royale i think not the gaming scene at large is growing tired of battle royale games for the precise reason that developers are shoving it down everyone's throat thank you um apparently you didn't see the battlefield 5v3 presentation where they booed whenever the pr BR mode was announced. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But shoving it into a game that has made a major point of going back to its roots might be the straw that would break the camel's back for Halo. Well said, Jordan Stevens. Uh, David Force says, You are a complete dumbass if you think that Halo will have a Battle Royale mode. It's so fucking stupid that, these, that games these days are adding Battle Royale modes. That's why Call of Duty will die off soon. Matthew S. Smith, you are a complete fucking retard. Uh, okay. Really dumb article considering you can make your own battle royale mode in custom games. So this is interesting. Yeah, it's, this is pretty dumb. Article's awful. Okay, so we get we basically get the such a stupid article. Okay, fuck off with your be heart. We get the idea. Like literally anybody commenting is saying, "No, thank you." If I want a battle royale, I that's exactly what I was saying. I come to Halo to play Halo. Uh, so this is kind of the point. This is clearly this writer is clearly a guy who doesn't know anything about Halo, and he doesn't know what he hasn't even researched what has been said about it, what the fans want, um, all the controversies that have been going on for fucking how however long, however many years since 2012, basically is when it really blew up with uh, Halo 4 coming out. Uh, Halo's been dying since then. Like its its player base has been you know less enthusiastic about the games as they come out. And 343 needs to give the fans what they actually want and not try to sh shove this, these sh shitty trends that don't fit into the game down our throats. There's a reason people like Halo, and it's not because of Battle Royale. It's <laughs> there are plenty of other things that Halo has done very well, um, telling interesting stories, great level design, and then the multiplayer, ha it had its own style. And it worked really, really well, and that's what they need to do. So, uh, 
I really think it's interesting how even Frank O'Connor said, uh, yeah, if, if you guys want Battle Royale, the, the fans can just make it in Forge and play it. Just use, you know, Breakout. Uh, you, you get one life and use that as a base and then just build it yourself. Build a map and make your own Battle Royale. That's it. So, I mean, if something if it's something fans want, they're going to make it themselves because that's something they can do. Uh, anyways, I don't want to ramble on too long. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this sort of style of video. I'd like to do more of these sort of news, um, gaming news things. It'll help me uh, update the channel more often. Um, if you guys are interested, I also have a podcast out called Mad Chat with Chad and Matt. Go ahead and give that a, a listen. It's on here. It's also on Stitcher and Google Play. I'm trying to get it on iTunes. Not there yet. Um, and it's also on some other stuff too, uh, SoundCloud. But you can check it out here on my channel. And uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are and uh, what you think about <laughs> having a battle royale. Do you think it's dumb? <laughs> like this guy that Halo doesn't have one? Anyways, I'm done talking. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have an excellent day.